welcome to technomath where you can find mathematical shortcut tips and tricks and computer tricks click here to subscribe the channel hi friends so windows 10 has been officially launched and now on 29th july 2015 one year after the launch of beta version on te on the 1st of October 2014. All are excited about what all new features are added to these new versions of Windows operating system and which features have been removed. Well, here we will see how to install or upgrade Windows 10 from the USB and we will talk about the feature in a separate video. However, we all are very glad to know that the start button feature which was available pre Windows 7 versions of operating system is back here in Windows 10 operating system which was removed in Windows 8 and 8.1. So let's move ahead and see how to install Windows 10 from USB. In order to install Windows 10 from USB we will need an ISO file of Windows 10 as you can see it is available on my desktop okay it's a beta version and an 8 GB USB disk here I'm using power ISO tool to mount my Windows 10 ISO file Here you can see the ISO file available on my desktop. I have mounted it on my virtual drive. Now go to the start menu and type CMD. Open it with run as administrator. Type in the following command disk part Now type list disk which shows you all the available disk on your machine including USB disks You can identify the USB disk by its size Here the size of disk 1 which is 7633 MB and it's nearly 8 GB so that's our USB disk now we need to clean this USB so type in the command clean before cleaning it we need to select the disk so type in select disk 1 and now type in command clean and before cleaning the disk just to make sure that we are cleaning the USB disk and not the internal hard drive type list disk once again you can see the disk 1 is star marked which, is, which indicates that the disk 1 is selected which is our USB hard disk Now that we know the disk 1 is selected, type in the command clean. The next step is to create a partition for USB and make it active. So type first create partition primary and hit enter. It will show you disk part successful in creating the specified partition. Now in order to make this partition active, type in command active and after activating it we need to format this disk. Now again before formatting it just to make sure that we are formatting our USB type list disk and make sure disk 1 is star marked which is our USB and then type format fs nt fs equals ntfs quick hit enter
you see our USB disk is now formatted and currently it's uh, labeled with drive letter H. So type in the following command assign in order to get the new drive letter. You can see the drive letter has been changed to I. Now type in exit to get out of the disk part utility and go to the virtual drive where we have mounted our Windows 10. Go to the boot folder and we have to use this bootsec.exe utility. So go to the command prompt once again and we have to go to the same location. So type in cd backslash and uh, type in cd boot and type in following command boot sect.exe space forward slash and d60 and the drive letter of our USB that is I colon hit enter and it will show you target volume will be updated with the boot MGR compatible boot code so now our USB disk is bootable so only thing remaining now is to copy all these files to our USB disk it will take some time to copy all the contents Now that all our files are copied to the USB disk, it is now ready to boot. Click the below link to see how to use uh, this USB disk and install Windows 10 on your machine.